Bro, you know me. I have noticed that a lot of things are going wrong in the village. I heard some guys saying that the gem that keeps the village alive was stolen. Uh, That's an old story, you know. Well, my friend, I will go get from the dragon's cave. I heard it there. You go kill yourself. I'm not coming. I don't want to be the hero roasted by the dragon's fire. <laughs> You're always scared. I know, I know. Come and wait. I'm up. not scared. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm scared. How did I come here? I will kill you. How dare you enter into my domain? I will burn you alive. You can do nothing, dragon. I just blocked your fire. I am here for the gem. And he took the gem from the dragon, and the entire village was restored to a state of peace and harmony. And everyone celebrated the two heroes. Hey, bro, you good? You good, bro? Well, look at how you blocked <laughs> the dragon's fire and moved <laughs> the way you took the gem and ran away. Is pretty awesome. Wow. Creating high-quality animations, especially with AI tools, can be a time-consuming process that demands focus and attention to detail. But don't worry, if you stick to the steps I'm about to walk you through, you'll be able to produce something unique and truly your own. Let's dive in. To get started, I downloaded an image of an animated character from Google to keep things simple. Before doing anything else, make sure the image's background is removed. You can use tools like Remove.bg, Canva Background Remover, or any AI tool of your choice to achieve this. Now that I've prepped my image, let's move on to the fun part. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Shrek, the big green ogre we all know and love. So, for this demo, I uploaded an image of Shrek to ChatGPT and gave it this prompt. Can you describe this image? Its name is Shrek. Here's the description it provided, which I'll read out for clarity. This is an image of Shrek with his typical big appearance, green in color, being an ogre from the animated Shrek movies. He has a friendly smile, round, trumpet-shaped ears, and wears a cream tunic with a brown vest over it. He's also wearing plaid pants and rugged boots, completing his iconic look. His casual pose, with one hand resting on his hip, gives off a calm and confident vibe. Next, I asked ChatGPT to save this description in its database. It confirmed by replying, I have stored in my database the description of Shrek. Let me know if there is anything else you would like me to do. Then, I gave it a new task to create a short, fun, adventure-based story of about 500 words, starring Shrek as the main character. ChatGPT worked its magic and generated a story, which I reviewed and approved. The next step was to have ChatGPT break the story down into scenes. It did just that producing a sequence of 10 scenes. Scene 1, Scene 2, Scene 3, and so on, all the way to Scene 10. Each scene formed the foundation for the visuals I needed to create. The next challenge was generating images for these scenes. I used ChatGPT to produce visuals based on each scene's description. However, here's where things got tricky. When I asked it to generate an image of Shrek, the result didn't quite hit the mark. The image it created looked nothing like Shrek. A message popped up on the screen saying, It seems the generated image didn't quite capture Shrek's appearance. Due to content policies, I cannot create an exact replica of Shrek, but I've tried to design something inspired by him. At this point, I realized I needed a workaround. So I adjusted the story by swapping out Shrek's name for John and updated the character description. ChatGPT confirmed the change saying, I have changed the name Shrek to John. I then used this updated description to generate images of John. The results were closer to what I was aiming for, but still not perfect. I continued tweaking the prompts and asked for adjustments, such as reducing the size of John's ears. After a few attempts, I got an image that looked much better. From here, I went scene by scene, refining each image until I had a set that felt consistent and aligned with the story. However, I must admit something here. I didn't rely solely on ChatGPT for image generation. For some of the scenes, I used Fluxglyph, which offered more creative flexibility. On the Glyph website, I clicked the Build button, selected Image Generator, and pasted the prompts I had created in ChatGPT. Using the Flux Pro settings and a 16-9 aspect ratio, I clicked Generate 
and was blown away by the results. The images looked great, and I kept experimenting with other prompts to see what else I could create. Once I had all my images, I moved on to the animation phase. To animate these images, I turned to Minimax AI, specifically its image to video tool. It's worth noting that Minimax also allows you to create videos from text prompts, but for this tutorial, I focused on animating my pre-made images. Here's how it works. Upload your image, Click the Generate button, and voila, a video is created. Keep in mind that Minimax uses credits, and the free plan allows up to three videos per day. If you need more, consider creating multiple accounts with different emails to maximize your free credits. Once I had my animated clips, it was time to upscale them for better quality. For this, I recommend using the CapCut Video Upscaler. Just search for it online, upload your video, Select the highest upscale option and click Export. If you're using the free version, there are some limitations, but it's still a fantastic tool. And click on Download to download your video. Another option is TensorPix, an AI-based upscaler that offers a few free credits when you sign up. On the free version of TensorArt, you are allowed to select two options of the upscale parameters, which is really perfect for a great upscale. The good thing here is that you can upscale up to about 5 to 10 videos, and soon you'll have high quality, beautifully animated clips ready to go with the animations done. The next step was to add sound effects and background music. But before we continue, if you have watched to this point, I would like you to subscribe and click the bell notification button to be the first to know when I upload a new video. Also like and share this video with a friend or family, and do not forget to comment below. To combine everything, I used CapCut again. Here's how I did it. First, I uploaded all the videos and sound effects into the CapCut timeline. Let me play a snippet for you. My friend, I will, I will go, go get, get from, from the, the dragon's, dragon's cave. cave. I, I heard it there. there. You, you go, go kill yourself, yourself. I'm not coming. coming. I don't, don't want to be the hero roasted, roasted by the, the dragon's, dragon's fire. fire. <laughs> You're always scared. Huh? For sound effects, I use Pixabay. If you need sound effects like dragon roars, just go to Pixabay, select sound effects from the drop down menu, and type in what you're looking for. Once you find a sound effect you like, download it and place it in the correct spot on your timeline in CapCut. For background music, I used Suno AI. Before heading there, I asked ChatGPT to suggest the type of music that would suit my story. Once I had an idea, I opened Suno, selected the instrumental option, pasted my music prompt and clicked Create. The result was perfect for the tone of my video. Since I like the background music, the next thing is to download it for use. Back in CapCut, I uploaded the background music, adjusted the volume to ensure the dialogue and sound effects were still audible, 
and fine-tuned everything to perfection. That's how I created the animation you saw at the beginning of this video. This method can be adapted to create animations for kids, short stories, or even your own creative projects. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support the channel by subscribing, clicking the notification bell, sharing with your friends and family, and dropping a comment below. Your feedback means the world to me and keeps me motivated to bring you more tutorials like this one. Stay creative, keep experimenting, and good luck with your projects.